So we can go for a Belfast and I will show you uh, El Boteón de Pensacola power after this game. Even if Pensacola is not a premium ship, I will uh, just mm, go for a Pensacola game just to showcase the power of the AP of on the Pensacola. Pensacola has one of the best AP penetrations at tier, um, at tier uh, 7 from uh, between the cruisers by far. So let's see. I touched my what? I touched 110k. Ooh, nice, good job. Why Pensa has yes and Colorado no? Because El Botón uh, is talking about Pensacola Thor, and he's a new player. I mean, a truly new player. Not like you that you're kind of a, still uh, you have plenty of battles played, but you're you're still potato here and there. So he's a really new player. I remember once I d deleted a Pensacola broadside while I was in a Normandy and he went totally crazy. I mean, Pensacola is a squishy ship, don't get me wrong, but if you can play around the squishiness and you can take your uh, your shots carefully, the AP are, are very powerful. I am talking about the Colorado. Yeah, I know Thor, but no nobody asked for the Colorado game, Thor, sorry. Is the Akizuki build usable on Kitakaze? Uh, depends on what is the Akizuki build. Kitakaze wants concealment expert because Kitakaze concealment is 5.9 at best, which is very, I mean, it is quite decent at tier 9. So you want to run concealment expert and, a and IFHE. Still have the screen of this rank if you, I want, you would. What if I wanted he would have been permaban? Well, we get people going full mad every single day here. Albemaro, mm. he is kind of scary because of his uh, super heal. I must now post the pic of the end battle squid my Discord clan channel. Murders, <laughs> okay. I see. Yeah, I mean, it's a quite good result for a Pensacola. Wow, it's so, so loud. Where is the Cleveland? Okay, the Cleveland is there. Okay, we have to stay away from the Cleveland and then we should be fine. But this Albemarle is from AAO, so he's gonna blind fire me most likely. So we have to pay extra attention to that to that guy. I spot Belfast. Who are you? Oh, the Furious! Wow, a Furious that actually knows what what to do. I'm truly impressed now. Smoke generator started. Oh, there we go. He's going for this for his spotter plane for for an increased ability to shoot in our smoke. Pack your RNG, AO guy. Oh, that Arbenor is from AO. Yeah, this is why I kind of respected this guy and his his blind fire. Okay, so did you already try in Uslava? No, and even if I did, I couldn't. Mm, I can't tell you anything because of the new wargaming policy about uh, information about test chips so I so i'm sorry em i can't tell you i can't i can't even tell give you my impression on the ship if i i can't even tell you that the ship is good or bad i can't tell you anything 
So, not even if it's fun to play or not. Literally zero information. Literally zero. What? Let's go and raid a diffusion and get rid of him, shall we? Yeah, this new policy is kind of frustrating. I mean, it's okay for a super tester to not be able to give any kind of information, but it affects also um, the, um, the CCs as well. They are so much limited now in the amount of things that they can do or not and the amount of information that they, they, that they can give uh, out of um, about new ships. That vision is gonna double the, the iron and we are gonna be spotted by him. So we don't want to avoid this, of course. There he is. He's gonna run away, but still, he's gonna be an issue. There we go, that's a perma. Just because your opinion can avoid people to buy the ship is so sad. Uh, yeah, because Wargaming said that uh, some videos and streams about some CCs, about ships that were not in, the, in their final state, uh, just misled the, uh, the audience about the um, some ships. Not sure what which ships in this in this specific case, but yet Wargaming said that, and hence the new policy about the information that you can give or not about the uh, the new ships. It is kind of frustrating for a lot of people, but it is what it is, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is right, but my opinion doesn't really count. Oh, there we go, another fire. Imagine putting an HE spamming cruiser and, and with, with smoke at tier 10 with a good reload. Can you imagine how toxic it could be for the game if, if a tier 7 cruiser can do this? Oh, wait, we have, we have Smolensk. Oh, shit, I kind of forgot about Smolensk. Lol. Ah, out of range. That's bullshit. They just want to do whatever they please in secrecy without being forced to listen to feedback. You said that, Roar. I didn't. Uh, I don't know. They have their reasons to do that. I'm not entirely sure about the specific reasons, but I mean, the justification they, they gave is, is like that, is this one. He got removed from the ST program. Who? What? What the actual fuck are you doing here? Go here. Hello? There's nothing there anymore. We have only the fusion. Oh no. Pesky planes. I hate you. Come on, Belfast AA, you can pretend you are doing something. Oh no, the NC shot me. Fuck! Oof. Uh, wait, wait, wait. They removed the guy cleaning the torpedo. What? what? Where are you going, New Orleans? You are not a ship suited for this kind of stuff. Yes, budget cuts, a guy who used petrol, yeah, um, was it, it was, a, for example, De Daniel Rusev, it was a, it was a CC that used Petro Pavlovsk in clan battles and they removed him from the uh, CC program because of this, I mean, he wasn't really allowed to play uh, Petro Pavlovsk in clan battles um, and he got removed from the, for, for that, but I mean, this is a very big potato move, by the way, to do. I mean, I won't say he, that he deserved it, but I mean, 
that was a big potato move. So I don't know. Was it Rusev to use it in Clan War? I think so. I, I've seen something, uh, a post somewhere stating that um, that he um, he was he um, potato big time and and um, the reason why uh, he got removed by the CC program was this one. Don't, don't fully quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was him. Or maybe at least him he was removed from that for that reason. I'm not sure if he was the only one. Maybe not. I don't know. Come on. Where are my my penetrations? I have I I, I have IFHE on that thing. What? And the music stopped again. Oh no, New Mexico. Fuck no. Finally, fire on that guy. But now we have to give we have to get to get the fuck out of here. Come on! <gasps> you can see here. I didn't see her in time. We are gonna lose this match. Yeah, we're definitely throwing this match. Now, we are out of smokes, guys. Sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat, but I'm kind of in a tricky situation. Just kind of. Come on guys, do something already. Wow, undetected while shooting in this position. Awesome. Please don't get rammed by this Prince Idol Fugitive, please. No, no. Oh, come on. Come on, Tirpitz guy. Tell me you can deal with it inside the 3D. Well, he should be dead.
Ok. Are you kidding me? Again in the private video on the, on the playlist? Oh, fuck off. Okay, that means my repaired. Awesome. Nice to know. Oh, secondary build mark, huh? Nice. Still losing the game. I just read the dev blog of some days ago about two USS and now I'm pretty sure they are the Shurner from Yamato Legendary uh, Unique Upgrade. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They might. Because the, leg the Legendary up the Unique Upgrade of Yamato is by far um, one of the most popular ones. Well, I don't like also when test ships like new German CVs are played in random. Test ships must stay in test service, in my opinion. Um, this is an issue in the sense that you test test ships only in private servers with not the average population of, of, of your server. Um, the, the data of the spreadsheets are gonna be kind of false because um, because you don't get the actual gameplay if you play on public test for example uh, El Boteon you see a lot of people doing some the dumbest shit ever I mean more than on the on this server um, so it is very questionable if it's uh, if the data that you can collect from the, those servers uh, from those games are valuable or not so I don't know. Oh, the Ryuju is, is here. I saw the um, the fighter flame being deployed. Keeper guy, tell me that you are not gonna die from the Ryuju planes, please. Though that nobody is gonna die for sure. Albemarle's. I hope this Albemarle is gonna die because we need time. Oof. He took both of the torpedoes of the Ryuju and now he's gonna die. Yeah, we definitely lost this match. Well played by the enemy, um, to the enemy team. GG. Um, oh, the album all died. Okay. At least this. But we're not gonna lose the Normandy for sure. Okay, we killed the Ryujo. Thank you, Tirpis, for your torpedo shield. Now we only have to deal with the NC and we are fine. Only. I am the only one who thinks the consumption of CVs is ridiculously low. No, but CVs in general are, are, are ridiculous, in my opinion. Not only because of the concealment, to be honest. We have... I don't know how much time. Not too much to kill this NC. It is not an easy task. It is not an easy task. Normandy, Ram is, is good. Ram is fine. You know? Just go for it. 55 seconds. Ah! No! 
This is definitely not what we needed. They're gonna win regardless. Ah, uh, feels sad, man. Feels bad, man. Hundred and ninety points. This guy is is, is getting solo warrior. GG. Almost, but not quite. Well, almost. I tried to carry, but no. Apparently, it was not enough. Yep. Good job by this album, by the way. And the huge as well. Wait. I got almost the same amount of points of these guys. Haha. <laughs> okay. Never mind. That was a decent Belfast game, by the way. <laughs>